डायरेक्ट एनर्जी डिपोजिशन डायरेक्ट एनर्जी डिपोजिशन डी इज अ प्रोसेस वेयर थ्री ऑब्जेक्ट इज क्रिएटेड और रिपेयर्ड बाय एडिंग मटेरियल एंड द हीट इनपुट साइमल्टेनियसली द हीट इनपुट सोर्स कैन आइदर बी अ लेजर इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम और प्लाज्मा आर्क थर्मल एनर्जी फ्रॉम द हीट सोर्स इज यूज टू फ्यूज मटीरियल बाई मेल्टिंग एज दे आर बींग डिपोजिटेड There are different printing techniques or methodologies based on the DED principle. These are laser engineered net shaping, direct metal deposition, laser metal deposition, electron beam additive manufacturing, 3D laser cladding, etc. These techniques differ in motion control methodology, material delivery system, material form and energy source. However, Processing steps, that is, deposition, melting, and solidification of the material, remain the same. The material used in DED is either in the form of powder or wire. Wire is less accurate due to the nature of a preformed shape. However, provides higher deposition rates as compared with powder. The DED process typically occurs in a hermetically sealed chamber. Note. Similar to PBF, electron beam systems in DED require vacuum and laser system require inert gas. In the case of electron beam based system, vacuum is required to prevent the electrons being deflected by air molecules. Laser based system require a fully inert chamber while working with reactive metals. The local shielding can be provisioned for less reactive metals than titanium. such as steels nilloys colloids etc a typical dd machine consists of following parts deposition head deposition head comprises concentric nozzle powder or wire delivery system feedback sensors and laser or electron beam system similar to pbf material delivery is in the form of powder through a coaxial nozzle for laser or through a metal wire with a side delivery for electron beam multi axis build platform multi axis arm allows the attached deposition head to move and position in multi degree of freedom to deposit melted material layer upon layer as per the defined path multi axis build platform allows the part or subtract to move and position in multi degree of freedom to deposit melted material layer upon layer where deposition head remains static existing part or substrate is secured on the build platform note depending on the application and the object being printed motion control systems can vary in some machines it is the deposition head attached to the arm that moves and the object remain in a fixed position and in other cases the platform moves and the arm remain in fixed position controlled environment system similar to pbf the machine chamber is closed and filled with inert gas for laser source and vacuum for the electron beam workflow 3d digital data is supplied to the printer similar to other additive processes a substrate or existing part is placed on the build platform The nozzle with a concentric laser or electron beam is focused on the part surface or substrate to melt the material while depositing. Multi-axis build platform moves at a constant speed along a predetermined path created from the CAD data. In this case, the deposition head remains in other case it can be reversed. Where the deposition head moves and the part and the build platform remains fixed. After depositing and melting the material on the substrate the melt pool solidifies and forming a layer of metal further material is added layer by layer and solidifies creating or repairing new material features on the existing object or an entirely new object the process is repeated until the object is fully repaired or the new object is created post processing general processing steps include part removal heat treatments for stress relief and removing internal porosities machining and surface finishing 
Finally, parts are inspected and assessed using different NDT non-destructive testing and metrology techniques such as computed tomography CT scan, laser scanning, coordinate measuring machines CMM, etc. Materials The process can be used with polymers, ceramics, but is typically used with metals. For metals, almost any metal that is weldable can be 3D printed with direct energy deposition. Titanium, Inconel, Stainless Steel, Aluminium, Tungsten, Jirkala, Niobium, Molybdenum. Note, the wire used typically ranges from 1 to 3 mm in diameter and powder particle sizes are in between 50 to 150 microns. Advantages Ability to control the grain structure to a high degree facilitating high quality robust repair work of functional parts. Support structures are seldom required. Higher build rates due to faster deposition of materials compared to some other metal additive manufacturing processes. Wide multi-material range available. Compared to PBF, larger metal part can be built. Easier to refill or change the material as it is fed during the process on demand from separate powder containers. Reduced material waste compared to processes like powder bed fusion where entire build platform has to be filled with metal powder. Disadvantages Expensive, high capital cost. Compared to PBF, DED is suitable for simple geometries. Poor surface finish and resolution require secondary processing such as machining or aqua blasting hence adding more time and cost. Complex features like overhangs are not possible. Applications Mainly used in metals and ideally suited for repairing or adding material to existing components such as repairing turbines, blades or propellers that have been damaged. The process is utilized in key industries such as aerospace defense, oil and gas, and marine industries. Typical examples are aircraft frames and structures, refractory metal components, tooling repair and reconditioning and marine propulsion parts etc. Moreover, DD processes can be used to produce components with hybrid structures, comprising multiple materials with different compositions.